Hey everyone, welcome to lesson 17 of how to make iPhone apps with no programming experience. In this lesson, we're going to finish off our war card game. We're very close. All we have to do is update the score labels. So we're going to open up our Xcode project and do that. Now here I am looking at the view controller.swift and just to review, we did add a couple of IB outlets to connect uh, these labels in our storyboard to the left score label and the right score label. Uh, and just to remind you what they look like, let's jump into the storyboard very quickly here. There they are, those two zeros, and we are going to update those score labels. Well, first of all, what we need to do is declare two variables in order to track the scores. Um, they need to be integers so we can increment them. So I'm just going to keep things together. Let's, let's do some organization here. I'm going to cut and paste that right here. And for the right side, I'm going to put that right there. And underneath here, I'm going to call it the right score is an integer, just this, assign zero into it, var left score equals zero. Okay, so what we're going to do down here is if the left card wins, we're going to say left scores plus equals one. And that's going to add one to the left score. And if the right card wins, I'm going to do right score plus equal one. And if it's a tie, I'm not going to do anything. If the left card wins, now we got to update the label. Okay, so let's just write a comment here. Update the label. And here, increment the score. So update the label. We have the left score label. And the label has a property called text. And we pass a string into this text property in order to update it. So I need to pass in left score. But the problem here you can see is that left score is an integer and this text property expects a piece of text or a string. Uh, we can easily convert this integer into a string just like we converted the uint up here generated by arc for random uniform into an integer type. We're going to do the same thing here. We're going to convert this number left score into a string data type and then we can assign it to the text property of the label. Okay, so let's do something in here. Increment the score and here update the label. So write score label dot text equals string right score like that. All right, so that should do it. Let's run our app and let's see it in action. All right, let's click the deal button. So right card wins, CPU gets one, king beats four, player gets one, and five beats three, so player gets two. So this situation here, um, this situation here, we might want to change because ace probably should be the highest card, but right now the ace is at the first index of our array. So it's pretty much got an index of zero. In this case, the number two beats ace, number three beats ace, everything beats ace because ace is zero, king is 12. If we want the ace to be the highest card, we want it to have kind of trump everything, we can simply move that value up here. Now ace is the biggest card and two is the smallest card. So simply by doing that, now ace beats everything. All right, so there you have it. That's our completed war card game application. Let me just run it again. And I hope you guys learned a lot. I hope you had fun building this project with me. If you did, please share your results on Twitter 
and spread the word. Share these free lessons with anyone you know who is interested with the War Card Game. And if you enjoyed this project, chances are you will probably enjoy the course I'm offering as well,、uh, where we're going to build multiple apps together, each one with varying or increasing complexity、uh, to build upon the skills that you learned with this project. So take a look at that too if you're interested. Thanks for learning with me. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.